pizza? Roasted beets and fresh mint? Purple yam? While they still have vanilla and chocolate too, ice cream shops with some very creative flavors are growing in popularity, and you'll soon be seeing them everywhere. Dairy-free options at a modern ice cream shop are common these days, but a fully vegan ice cream shop is not something you see in just any city. Yet. Vegan ice cream and their business is expanding. Take a look. Los Angeles-based Dear Bella is a good example of how much the demand for plant-based ice cream is growing. In 2017, friends Alice Chern and Belinda Way opened Dear Bella with the mission of sharing their vegan lifestyle and love of ice cream. The flagship Hollywood location quickly caught on, causing Chern and Way to realize that a single shop wasn't enough to sustain the influx of customers. A second location opened in Costa Mesa in late 2022. Dear Bella's top quality coconut milk and oat milk ice cream is thoughtfully flavored with premium house made ingredients and preservative free whole foods. Dear Bella's rotation of seasonal ice cream flavors ranges from classic, peanut butter cup, chocolate chip cookie dough, and coffee chip to the unexpected, black sesame, lychee raspberry daiquiri, and horchata. Asian-inspired flavors are in regular stock at Dear Bella to honor the owner's Taiwanese heritage. The shop also offers premium ice cream sandwiches, ice cream cakes, floats, and limited edition desserts. Dear Bella has its eyes set on national online ordering, but with both California shops going strong, it wouldn't be surprising to see another location pop up soon. There are a lot of ice cream shops that incorporate fresh ingredients, champion environmental sustainability, and take an artful approach to ice cream making, all of which are good for business and Mother Earth. But Molly Moons was doing these things long before it was a widespread trend. The Seattle ice cream shop has 10 locations throughout the city, expanding steadily since owner Molly Moon Neitzel opened the first location in 2008. From the beginning, Neitzel aimed to create homemade ice cream that celebrates the local community, its farms, organizations, and people. To make Molly Moon's signature flavors like melted chocolate, scout mint, and Yeti, a sweet cream flavor with house-made granola, Neitzel and company predominantly use ingredients native to the Pacific Northwest. Buying from local farmers, coffee roasters, and beekeepers, a practice that supports small businesses in the area and makes for some awesome tasting ice cream, sounds like a win win. By donating to nonprofit organizations in and around Seattle, providing a 401k matching program for its employees, and committing to renewable energy initiatives like wind power, Molly Moon sets the standard for what ice cream shops can be in the 21st century. Dozens of grocery stores in Washington and Oregon sell containers of Molly Moon's ice cream, with more grocers being added to the distribution list weekly. Austin, Texas is a foodie town, which means the stakes are high for new eateries trying to make a name for themselves. But it was a welcome challenge for Anthony Sabotic and Chad Palmatier when they began Lick Honest Ice Creams in 2011. The idea was simple, gather ingredients from local farms to create a line of all-natural ice cream free of soy, palm oil, and preservatives. Roasted beets and fresh mint ice cream isn't a flavor for everyone, but the shop offers offers a lot of variety. Conventional components like vanilla bean, fruit, and chocolate have plenty of star turns on the menu, alongside more daring combinations. Lick Honest Ice Cream's inventive approach to using homegrown ingredients like basil, peaches, honey, and goat cheese to make quality farm-to-table ice cream has allowed the business to grow and earned national recognition from top food critics. There are now Lick Honest Ice Creams in Houston, San Antonio, and College Station, Texas. Every Handles location makes their own ice cream. Nothing gets brought in. Handles Homemade Ice Cream's origins are in Youngstown, Ohio, where Alice Handel began sharing ice cream she created with an original recipe and fruit from her home garden with the neighborhood. That was in 1945, but Handles Homemade Ice Cream is still going strong today. Though Handles is a franchise operation boasting over 100 locations across 12 states, the ice cream you eat here is always made in-house using Alice Handel's recipes. 
Handel's ice cream shop leans on the traditional side of things, and every store sells at least 45 flavors each day, including selections like peppermint bark, French silk pie, Graham Central Station, and brownie dough. If you're in the mood for something a little different from a cone or dish of regular ice cream, Handel's offers an assortment of sherbets and fun flavors like pink champagne and red raspberry. It also sells something similar to a Dairy Queen Blizzard, but it's called a hurricane. Handel's products speak for themselves, but if you need convincing, it was named the number one best ice cream by National Geographic's Global Travel Guide, the 10 best of everything. Words like gourmet and artisanal are used to describe contemporary ice cream shops where small batches and locally sourced ingredients are a top priority. New City Micro Creamery is an example of the new generation's approach to the art of ice cream. After opening up shop in 2015 in Hudson, Massachusetts, it took no time at all for New City Micro Creamery to acquire a following of customers who couldn't get enough of its exceptionally smooth and rich ice cream recipe. It turns out that New City Micro Creamery's owners have their recipe down to a science. Inspired by the aged steeping methods used in traditional gelato making, New City Micro Creamery's ice cream base uses fresh cream from Maple Line Farm in Hadley, Massachusetts, which is steeped for a full 24 hours. The secret to that next-level smoothness is mixing the ice cream base with liquid nitrogen kept at a blistering negative 300 degrees to create a flash freeze effect. The shop in Hudson was the first, but now there are locations in Cambridge and Sudbury, Massachusetts. With the addition of a new factory to make small batches of ice cream sold in local Whole Food stores, New City Micro Creamery is on the verge of a mini ice cream empire, a must-try flavor, chocolate salted cookies and cream. The folks at New City Micro Creamery aren't alone in their belief that made-from-scratch ice cream is the best in the business. One voluptuous bite can stop you in your tracks. Jenny Britton, the creative mind behind Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams, has been perfecting her ice cream recipe for over two decades, and her efforts are paying off. It started in Columbus, Ohio in 2002 when Britton, an art student turned food experimentalist, opened her flagship store in North Market, where she shared innovative ice cream flavors like Wildberry Lavender, Honey Milk Chocolate, and Brambleberry Crisp with the public market's crowds. Britain's second location opened three years later and would eventually expand to over 65 nationwide locations and earn her a James Beard Award. What sets Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams apart is the ongoing commitment to using the best chemical-free ingredients available from family businesses businesses, and fair trade institutions. Jenny's ice cream has the full-bodied texture and decadence of real buttercream, perfectly blended with fruit, chocolate, nuts, cookies, or more unexpected components such as goat cheese and cream cheese. You can also find Jenny's blended ice creams inside the freezers of grocers all over the country, including CVS, ShopRite, and Whole Foods. Britain also makes a point to keep up with pop culture. The brand has partnered with Apple TV Plus to create an original flavor inspired by Ted Lasso called Biscuits with the Boss featuring homemade shortbread cookie crumbles and a hint of sea salt. You're a mad genius. Ever since Salt and Straw came on Portland, Oregon's food scene in 2011, it's been a frozen force to be reckoned with. Salt & Straw uses its platform as an ice cream shop to encourage community interaction, a dedication to craft, as well as an environmental standpoint. On June 9, 2023, Salt & Straw opened a pop-up shop on East 13th Street in Manhattan for a single day. Specifically, they set up at Blue Stripe's Cacao Shop and highlighted flavors made from cacao pulp to show that ice cream can be upcycled and still be amazing. A-lister Dwayne The Rock Johnson has long backed Salt & Straw, founded by the cousin team of Kim and Tyler Malik, and has partnered with them to create exclusive holiday ice cream flavors. The Maliks began their ice cream company on a whim and have since expanded all over California and the Seattle area. Salt & Straw also has ice cream shops in Las Vegas, Miami, and even Disney World. With a 
refreshingly weird approach to crafting unique ice cream flavors. Salt and Straw has popularized artisan ice cream flavors, including chocolate potato salad, cinnamon and honey fried chicken, baked brie and fig cheesecake, and sour cherry pie. More refreshing combinations are Salt and Straw's vegan pink rosé and watermelon sorbet, and dairy-free freckled mint chocolate chip flavors. Ice cream shops in New York City are all over the place, but if it's Soft Serve you're after, Soft Swerve is the place to get it. Soft Swerve started in December 2016 when childhood friends Jason Liu and Michael Singh opened the original location on Allen Street in Chinatown. On the success of the first store, Soft Swerve grew, adding multiple Manhattan locations, and won a piece in Brooklyn and Queens. Larger chains like Carvel deliver when it comes to having more Soft Serve flavor choices than your average chocolate, vanilla, or twist. But Soft Swerve's Asian and influenced flavor selection is unlike most of the soft serve you've tried before. For example, Ube Purple Yam is authentic and satisfying, and is also available as hard ice cream. The vivid purple shade of Ube Purple Yam isn't the only vibrant menu item at Soft Swerve. House-made waffle cones come in saturated colors such as Red Classic and Black Chocolate. Add some quirky toppings like mochi or fruity pebbles, and your ice cream cone doesn't just taste great, but it's also begging to be photographed. For the family behind two roosters, making ice cream at Granny's house was a Sunday afternoon tradition. In 2015, owner Jared Plummer decided to turn those cherished memories into a business and started Two Roosters Ice Cream out of a refurbished trailer hitched to a custom-painted turquoise Ford pickup truck. Plummer's food truck venture paid off and he opened a brick-and-mortar location in Raleigh, North Carolina in the summer of 2017. Now there are three Raleigh shops, with another in Wake Forest and one in Durham, North Carolina. The Durham spot opened in 2020 and is located in the Golden Belt, a converted warehouse complex with a great outdoor area that's also home to an artisanal pizzeria and a local brewery. USA Today named Two Roosters one of America's best ice cream parlors. Two Roosters has been able to expand because the ice cream is rich, high quality, and inventive. The ice cream shop is known for its forever flavors, such as strawberry and honey and blackberry hibiscus. Plummer also loves to get funky with his flavor concepts, and offers a monthly rotation of original ice creams that he dreams up with a small culinary team. Some of Two Roosters' bold flavor innovations include pizza, honey sriracha, fortune cookie, and key lime ginger snap. Pittsburgh Pride Millie's homemade ice cream has taken its homespun recipes and launched them into full-scale expansion. At the end of 2022, Millie's announced it would be opening five more locations in the Pittsburgh area, bringing the total number of shops to 16. Millie's growth is especially impressive when you consider that owner Chad Townsend didn't even start making ice cream commercially until 2014. Townsend's operation began in his home kitchen, graduated to a delivery service, and has since become a successful ice cream shop, a food truck, and a franchise. Townsend's background as a fine dining chef speaks to his ability to make excellent ice cream from scratch that keeps customers coming back. Millie's gets its farm-fresh ingredients directly from Pennsylvania farmers, and is serious about sustainability and fair trade practices. Flavors like cannoli and milk chocolate brownie are so expertly mixed that they remind us why the word gourmet exists. Even if you don't live anywhere near Pittsburgh, grabbing a few pints of Millie's homemade ice cream is still possible. The company website offers nationwide shipping.